Hello everyone, welcome back to Dragon Quest VIII Journey of the Cursed King, the PS2 version. In the last episode, we uh, followed Imperia's shadow, and we were led to the mysterious Dark Eye, which took us to the uh, Shadow Realm. <laughs> the black and white realm, I'm sorry. The black and white filter. <laughs> the colours. There is no colours apart from the flames. Still don't get that. <laughs> they're like, they're like, oh hey, like there's no colour in this world. Do you not see this? Because I do. <laughs> is it black and white to them? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, we're in the, the so-called dark world. And uh, again, there isn't really too much. We can't leave the island, unfortunately. Uh, but we were told that apparently Imperia has been uh, attacking their village. Some people don't quite understand why. Because she's supposed to be good. She's supposed to be this goddess bird, essentially. You know, this this uh, helper, savior, fought against the darkness. the da Well, the Dark Lord. Um, and some people think there's a reason for it. Anyway, they told us where to go. So that's what we're going to do. But before that... It's got an alchemy pot because our alchemy is done. And I think I realized because I'm making a mighty I'm making bleh, I am making a mighty armlet. Uh just so I can alchemy it again. But I don't think I realized that I already have two, I think. Like I have one here, or is this the one? I'm not sure. Is this the one? Let me check real quick. Um So that's one I just made. Yeah, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Why did I make another one? <laughs> somewhere somewhere down the line, I must have picked up another one, maybe. I didn't realize. But um, I am trying to make a new armor for uh, Yangus. And I think this will be better than what he has. Because I think this is like his, his technical, like... It's kind of like his exclusive armor to him. Like his best armor. I want to say almost everyone has their exclusive. Like... Jessica kind of has like her exclusive co exclusive costumes, which is kind of like her exclusive stuff. Um, the hero also gets like an exclusive armor of his own later on. Um, I, I feel like everyone, almost everyone can wear the Metal King Slime armor though. They can wear the Liquid Metal Slime. I can't remember about the Metal King Slime. Not sure about Angelo though. Um, I'm not sure about him, so I'll look into him. But uh, So, there's a boss fight coming up. And uh, I'll just say one thing. If you're around this level, you should be okay. But if you want to, I guess, reassure yourself. Or <laughs> you just want to be a bit more prepared, I guess. Uh, you could maybe uh, level up a couple of bit, couple of levels more. Maybe like level 40 across the board, something like that. Because uh, this boss fight is not easy. I'll tell you that. It's... Hands down, the hardest boss fight so far. Grant, I guess you kind of expect that. But I'm not just talking hard. I'm just talking, like, in my opinion, this is like a jump. This is like a jump in difficulty, in my opinion. So, we've got into some encounters. Can I run away from the dark slimes? Let's see. I can. Good. Gotta remember to uh, re equip Yangus as well uh, when we get to it, so. But yeah, we're back, and uh, I can beat this boss fight. I made sure I was prepared, <laughs> because, you know, I didn't want to leave the dark eye. I don't want to leave through the dark eye and then be like, oh, let's do this again. Can I run? I don't know. Not sure. We're going to try it. If I can, you know, save on stuff. So Also, a little experiment, because I couldn't remember. I'll just mention this uh, right here. Uh, Angel Cheese. Uh, I think I've told you, like, it casts Kazing. I was wrong. I thought it did cast Kazing, it casts Zing. Basically, it's less likely. I think it casts Zing for the entire party. So, I mean, if the hero is the only one alive, it could be possibly good. But at the same time, it's Zing. And Zing is a 50% chance to bring the, bring the person back. And they only come back with 50% health. So, Zing is kind of rubbish, honestly. Um, and the only one who has Kazing is Angelo. I believe if you get Jessica's spells up to 100, if you want to, but I personally don't think it's worth investing the points. At least, like, if you want to do that after you've gotten the whips up, or whatever weapon you've gotten up, sure. But whips, in my opinion, is, like, 100% priority. 
uh, more, 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 I feel like it's more effective to do that than to get her spells. But I have tried that before and she does learn Kazing, I believe, at 100. Uh, shame it takes that long to get it, but there you go. And uh, Yangus can learn Ka Kaplunk, which basically sacrifices everyone to bring everyone back. Uh, it actually heals everyone as well. If they're, if someone's not dead, it will fully heal them. But it's... Yeah, it's you have to get like his friendship up. Is it friendship? Humanity, sorry. His humanity. You have to get his humanity up. Um, and, and all that jazz. And, and yeah. And I want to... To be honest, I want to say the hero can learn can sing as well. But I can't remember how. He might just have to level up. I can't remember. Could be courage. Not 100% sure. But, um, again, I like this idea. I kind of wish there was a little bit more to explore, but I get it. It'd be an even longer game if there was, I suppose. Um, but, uh, let's go and do this boss fight, shall we? Also, I guess, briefly, before we get into the boss fight, don't forget to leave a like on the video if you're enjoying the Dragon Quest stuff. Really appreciate it. I apologize that I ramble. It's kind of who I am. Um, I appreciate you stopping by. And, uh... Make sure to subscribe if you're new as well. We really appreciate it. Also, um, I'm trying to think. What should I ask for questions? What would you like to comment uh, down below? Ooh, um, this might be a little bit obscure, but if you've played any game at all where they've got like a dark world slash alternate world or something, um, what's your favorite? This is a little obscure because it, it kind of just depends on if you happen to have played the game um, that has, like, some sort of, like, alternate world type of thing. Um, what's your, what's your, like, favorite alternate world or dark world type of thing? You could say, like, Legend of Zelda Link, uh, Link to the Past. That has a dark world. That's, like, the opposite. So, something like that. Uh, how about that? Um, if there's anything else you want to comment below, be sure to do so. But that's my question. Like, what's your favorite dark world slash alternate world? Imperia? Hello, I need to talk to you. And uh, what's she doing? Oh crap! And she just dive bombs into us. Like, excuse me, with no explanation. Also, I apologize. If that was really loud. <laughs> Imperia draws near. She is a very pretty bird. Um, very pretty purple bird. But yeah, she just she just attacks us for no reason. All right, things to note. Now, I miss Mira. Oh, miss Mira. Oh yeah. I said this in a, in a Twitch. Miss Memorandum. Yeah, I can't. I can't word sometimes. Uh, I thought she did fire-based attacks, but I fought her twice as a practice run, and she didn't use any fire-based attacks at all. So yeah, I'm. Um, um, yeah, I was remembering wrong. Clearly, what she likes to do is she likes to spam zap. Yeah, she has zap. I want to say there isn't really any other enemy in the entire game that has zap. So she's kind of unique, like the hero and her, I believe, are like the only ones. I can't remember, there might be an enemy that knows Zap, but, you know, has never used it on me. Or a boss fight, but as far as I know, she's the only other person who uses Zap. So it's interesting, and it does a lot of damage, it does about 50 to 60 HP. Um, her normal attacks, uh, where she like pecks at you, or she like, I think she like hits you with, your, with her wing, does at least 120 to 140. She hits very, very hard, and she's like the Omegas. She will attack twice. Uh, I mean, some boss fights are like that anyway, like Captain Crow was like that. So she has a chance to attack twice. She has a uh, Disruptive Wave, of course, and she, if you're really unlucky, she'll use it a lot. So even if you have really good armor, my suggestion, honestly, like, honestly, is to uh, just keep up with heals. If you need to, give Angelo, like, Meteor Ring or or a um, an Agility Ring just to speed up. Because I noticed that he was really slow and he just wasn't healing fast enough. And she just kept attacking me and I just slowly died. Like, so that might be worth doing that. Um, what I'm probably going to do, because I'm not very good at this, uh, I'm going to... Make sure to re-equip Yangus, like I mentioned. I am going to psych up. Uh, and then I'm going to... I'm going to ruin stuff. Yeah, um, we got this before. Uh, basically, this is really cool for pretty much anyone. Uh, this gives you a kabuff. So in this situation, I'm going to give it to uh, Jessica. And she's going to use it as an item. 
and then you're going to kabuff as well. I know she's going to use the disruptive wave at some point, but trust me, if you don't do this, even if you're at like this level or higher, I mean, heck, you could be like, you could have grinded to like level 45 or something ridiculous. It would take you forever at this point, but at these at these levels, even with the better armor that I have, she still hits ridiculously hard. She is one of the hardest boss fights. The positive side to her is that she doesn't actually have much HP. Um, and there's a reason for that. So, yeah. <laughs> and I honestly thought she'd be like a super boss because of this reason. Like, maybe she'd just be like a, I'll, like a hey, I'll challenge her or something. But, but no, no. Um, there's kind of like a reason, or at least that I put together, that she has low HP. When you've damaged her enough, she will start healing. So she'll take a turn to use mid-heal. So that's how you know that you're getting close. Alright, I think I've talked not long enough. Let's, let's do this. So, of course... I psych up with the hero. The destructive wraith immediately. She's fast, like I said. She is she is fast. That's why I said if if you need to. Agility rings across the board, accelerate, all that jazz. Well, at least Yangus took the hit, I suppose. He's got the most HP. There you go. There's the free kabuff. Awesome stuff. There's the double kabuff. I might kabuff one more turn, I think, for Angela. I think that's what I'll do. Alright, let's just try this again, let's try this again. Um, I'm going to use Accelerate against my better judgement. <laughs> because one disruptive wave can just ruin everything. There's the zap. But, yeah, this is like the only spell she does. I thought she did more than that, but... There it is! What did I say? What did I say? I bloody knew it. Which means you have to do it again. It's, it's RNG. It's RNG. You're either lucky or you're not. But I'm telling you, you need to get your defense up. You just have to. It sucks that she does that. It really is a pain. But that's like a common thing with this game. Um, it's one thing I don't like about this game is... The constant use of destructive waves. Kind of makes it feel like using buffs are useless. Because they're just going to keep doing it. At least against boss fights. Which is the only time you're going to use them. So ain't that ironic, eh? But I'd still try your best. Honestly, I try to go for 20 tension with Yangus and the hero. If not, just just Yangus. Um, you know. Oh right, I also forgot about that. Yeah, she has like a uh, dazzle, which isn't good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try lightning storm. I'm gonna try helm sweater. I could miss. Um. We'll use rune stuff one more time, I guess, and I will. Uh, I'm gonna multi heal. I was gonna full heal, but I'm gonna multi heal. I hope this does damage. Cause fourth bolt from the blue. Oh, thank God. All right, we got some damage in there. So unfortunately we're dazzled. I don't think we have any like magic spells that can undo that. There is probably a ring that can stop blindness. Oh man, I lucked out both times. Um, she's not affected by sap from what I know. So you won't get that added ability from Helm Splitter. There's Refractive Wave. You know what? That's fine. I'll just have to redo everything. But I got the hits on. The main, the main point of that is that I got the hits. So that's all I care about. But yeah, you're going to be expanding magic, just healing and combuffing. <laughs> I know, it's very exciting, right? <laughs> Such a rude bird, like... I didn't want to believe that the stories were true, but I mean, she did just kind of dive bomb into me out of nowhere. It's like, surprise, motherfucker! Ow! She's really pecking at Yankus right now. <laughs> like, Jesus, girl. There it is again! Yeah, I'm, I'm, okay, I feel like I'm getting the really bad RNG. Uh, the last time I did this, uh, she did not disrupt the wave nearly as, not, nearly as much. So, I am really unlucky, basically. Um, but you know, what can you do? I am gonna multi-heal, actually. We'll have Jessica use the rune staff for a bit of kabuff and boosting right there. Um, and then I will, uh... Multi heal instead, actually. I 
Oh my god. Okay, that's the worst case, is when she does it and then she attacks. Oh my god. That's that damage she can do when your defense isn't buffed. Yeah. Also, I don't trust you, so I'm using the hero. Good job the hero has healing as well, I guess. Um, accelerate, I guess. And then buff. Ugh. Yeah, this boss fight, man. You can either get good RNG or bad RNG. And this is, to me, is like the bad. The slug fight, you know. It's just like, ugh. Stat up, stat up, stat up. And trust me, I've tried doing this without, like, really buffing up. She just kills me so quickly. You, like, there's not really much else you can do. I'm sure there are better, better people out there that can strategize and stuff. Oh my god, can you stop? Can you stop? Can you stop, please? Like, calm it down. Getting on my tits. Um, what am I doing? Kabath, there we go. Can you stop? Alright. We're gonna have to start... Okay, if this keeps up, I'm just gonna have to start attacking her with, like, minimal damage. Because, yes, she takes... Not that much damage, as you kind of expect us to play. Oh my fucking god. Alright, she's playing this game. I have no choice then. <laughs> this is like, almost tempting me to reset. I'm not even lying. Like, to get a better RNG. It's stupid. It is really stupid. I want to say this is one of the stupidest fights ever. Just because of the ridiculous amount of whether she'll screw you over harder than anyone screwed you over before. Or, you know, whether it's not the case. But it's just like... God's sake, man. Ah! It's a challenge, but at the same time, it's just more, I'd say more frustrating, because she just won't stop. It does make me laugh when I don't have any buffs, though, and the opponent disruptive waves twice. Because that can happen. That very rarely happens, where they disrupt the wave after each other. But it can happen. I've seen it. Okay, she's done. She's done. She's done. She's done attacking right now. Alright, just, just, just go. Just go, alright. Just go. Just keep, keep healing. Chip the way to damage. This is the strongest spear move for a uh, hero. Like, it does more damage than his, uh... Morty Frost, if I remember correctly. But it costs more, you know, more MP. So it's up to you whether you want to use it. Or whether you want to just, you know, maybe less damage for, uh, slightly less damage, I guess, for, you know, MP consumption type of thing. It's really up to you. Hey, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. That's, that's, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna try and, and, and I guess. Sure. Double the, double the attack. I wish there was like an oomph for everyone at the same time, but there isn't. At least not in this game. As far as I know, anyway. Yeah, if she uses the the wave, then it just, it just goes away immediately. <laughs> yeah, she loves spam and zap. Okay, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Alright. Totally okay with this. All right. Um, we'll try Mighty Frost. We'll do this. We will do that, and I'm gonna full heal Yangus. I think the team itself will be fine. Hopefully, um, I'll probably like multi heal next time. But I just want to make sure he's topped up. She seems to be going after him a lot, which is fine by me. Like, no offense, Yangus, you're kind of like the sponge guy, you know? <sighs> Jessica, really? You couldn't have done that, like, sooner? You're supposed to be the fastest, technically. She doesn't have the Meteor Ring, but she is naturally the fastest character. She has the highest uh, AGL stat. Ooh, okay. Um, alright. Uh, you know what? Yeah, Twin Dragon Lash. Um, when, I mean... Like I say, when there isn't too much for her to do in terms of just like supporting, 
You can either use spells or start attacking with her as long as she's topped up in defense and stuff, you know. Now that we've got that new weapon, we might as well use it, am I right? And she honestly does pretty well, you know, base attack with that new weapon. It's so good. It's so good. Alright, I'm going to be cheeky. I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to do this. So, uh, random facts. Nothing to do with this at all. But, uh, in case you guys don't know, my headset died with my mic on. So I'm actually using my stand-up one. It gives me an excuse to use it more, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I have to use that now. Um, so hopefully the quality isn't too bad. Hope not. Um, because I'll be using that a lot. There it is. She's starting to heal now. That's good. That That's actually good. Um, that's actually good. Actually, you know what? We'll stick the Molly Frost. That's actually good. Um, yeah. That's a good sign. We're slowly... Like I said, she doesn't have much HP. But she does hit hard. She attacks twice. And she just loves spamming disruptive wave on you. Okay. Eh, not bad, not bad. And there it is. See, I tell you, like, this boss fight can be irritating, but she doesn't have much HP. You just gotta whittle it down slowly and slowly and slowly. And we get super magic. Neat. Are you gonna talk to us now, though? That was a little ridiculous, if you ask me. brave to have followed my shadow here from the world of light and you are able fighters oh hold on a sec i think she's talking and i can't hear it so uh i might have to edit it out i'll be back in just a sec god quick edit there <laughs> like i forget how big this bloomer mic is you can't see it obviously but like i smacked my head on the way back i was like jesus christ Alright, I should be able to hear her now. I just don't want to skip over when she talks. She talks, but, like, she doesn't open her mouth. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's kind of weird, but, like, I don't know. Maybe she's speaking te 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 telepathically, maybe? I'm not really sure. Anyway, I guess I'll just read this briefly, even though she probably said it. You are brave to have followed my shadow here from the Wild of Light, and you are April Fires. Perhaps you have realized already, but that battle was a test um sure i mean now i am i suppose but yeah so she was apparently testing us um i guess like testing our strength she'll she'll uh, talk about it talk about it more in a bit but uh i always just assumed i guess that if that's the case then perhaps she wasn't like a full power and she uh, wasn't being serious type of thing um but uh, she was just sampling her power. And yes, she's very strong. Please forgive my methods, but I am in search of someone strong to help me. The god bird herself needs help? We can't need your help. What do you mean? Surely you don't expect us to help you attack the village? All right, totally forgot about that. I'm afraid you've misjudged us. We're not about to help you with your tyrannous scheme. <laughs> Trade. Please do not misunderstand me. It was never my desire to attack the village. Okay. That too is part of the reason why I am in need of help. When Rapthorn, Lord of Darkness, attempted to conquer the world of light, I helped the sages to seal him away. Ah, so, you know, putting it all together now, she's obviously the god bird who uh, helped the sages back then stop rat form. In so doing, I earned the enmity of the monstrous servants of Rapthorn. That is why I am in this predicament. Okay. I have a baby. Oh. An egg in my nest. I have been waiting for the day it would hatch. Oh. But my nest has been captured by Gemon, one of Rapthorn's foul minions. 
he is holding my egg hostage. Do you say do you say Gemma? <laughs> Honestly, he kinda looks like Saturn would be out of Onimusha. <laughs> kinda. <laughs> but um I think he's basically just like a recolor of uh this type of monster we fought before. He's a lot bigger though. He's like a giant version of him, but yeah. Giant and like a shadow version of him, I guess. He forced me to attack the human village. I could not refuse if I wanted to save my child. Oh, I see. I got you. So he's holding her child. Uh, holding her child at, um, you know, hostage, essentially. I would have nothing to fear from the likes of Gemma. But as long as he has my egg, I am powerless to oppose him. That is why I must find someone to fight him in my place. Someone brave and strong. I mean, I don't mind, but I mean, like... What's stopping him from still, like, destroying your egg? You did not waver in following my shadow here to the world of darkness. Such bravery is rare. And now you have proven your strength in battle. I have no doubt that you are the only ones brave enough and strong enough to defeat Gemon. Please help me. Save my egg. For me, for my unborn child, and for the people of this island. Thank well, when you... Oh, I was waiting for the option to come up. Damn it! <laughs> I was like, well, when you put it that way, no. Fine, anyway. My nest it's is fine. <laughs> on the precipice at the summit of a mountain. I technically already chose the wrong option for uh, Jessica. But she kind of gave me a cheeky... Res like, like, she's like, oh, you're being cheeky, are you? So I guess it's fine. <laughs> I wanted to get the, oh, you're so sweet. But that's okay. Will be watching for me. Good job, there's so no uh, <laughs> relationship to this as well, I guess. To <laughs> but I can take you to the mountain's base. Oh, okay, so we're going to climb the mountain, I see, where, where he is, and sort of get him Are from behind. To go now? I mean... I would rather not go right now. Can I come back? Very well. I will be waiting for you here. Just tell me when you are ready. Got it. Cool. Alright, she's not attacking us anymore. We beat her though, so that's good. Okay, I'm just going to walk back to him and uh, impeach you. And then... Uh, Pretty much in the next part. Sorry, Dark and Pichu. The Edge. <laughs> the Edge Lord. The darkness. Um, so in the next part, we'll pretty much be helping out Imperia. Where we'll be climbing up the, the mountain's base. And uh, defeating Gemma. Gem Gem Genma. I mean Gemin. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to rest. Uh, and then we're going to sleep. I'm actually curious, though, if... I just want to see if uh, Medea speaks to us. I mean, I'm not going to go back to the world of, like, just to go to the spring. Like, I'm not doing that. I'm sorry, Medea. <laughs> this is kind of important. <laughs> okay, no. Good. <laughs> she understands. Alright, cool. Well, thank you so much for watching. That was pretty much an entire part, guys. Just that boss fight. <laughs> and me rambling. Oh, I apologize. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, like I said before, don't forget to leave a like. Read us help. Uh, you got any uh, comments, feedback? Like I said, uh, if there is like any games where you play like some sort of dark alternate world to the you know the main game um do you have like a favorite one is that like, one you really like like i do like the dark world in uh the legend of zelda uh link to the past in between worlds uh that's really cool this one's not bad as well um so 
trying to think of any others right now. I'd have to think about it. But um, I might even put it in the comment section. I might like put like a pin and being like, you know, I thought about it. This might be like my favorite. Um, if, you know, it's not been too many, I suppose. But yeah. All right, guys. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. And hit that bell. So uh, YouTube hopefully notifies you because it doesn't always notify you. But hopefully YouTube will sort itself out soon. And I'll see you in the next part. Bye-bye.